Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get this trailer out of the way. I've had it in my to-watch list for a little bit. I know the show has already started. I haven't watched it, obviously. Haven't even seen the trailer. We knew that Peacemaker was going to get his own show, of course. If you stayed and saw the ending credit or the final uh, credit scene in uh, Suicide Squad, you saw that Peacemaker lived and he wasn't really my favorite character in the Suicide Squad, especially after what happened with him and Flag. I guess Cena did a good enough job. I think I think he did. I think he played the <clears throat> I think he played the part pretty well. It was funny. But of course, you know, because of the way his character is, it's like, really, we're getting we're we're getting a show based on him, like one of the most unlikable of all the people in the group <laughs> or in the movie. But I saw that Robert Patrick is in it. And so that made me a little bit more interested to check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and watch the trailer. It's a bit on the long side, and this is straight from HBO Max. So let's just see what it's like. All right, kids, and that's how I defeated one of the world's most dangerous villains with only my two fists. My Desert Eagle and two rocket launchers. Eat peace, motherfuckers. Any questions? Have you met Wonder Woman? She did spend an entire party IFing me from across the room. Sick. Dude! Dude, I said effing! Hey! <laughs> All right! I remember people talking about that line and getting kind of aggravated and mad at it. About it. But they were like, well, this is the way the character is. So, I mean, why would you... Anyway, okay. Peacemaker. I was hesitant to bring you onto this team. <laughs> but right now, the world needs a son of a bitch. And you're the only one I got. You know, you don't have to call me Peacemaker. You can call me Chris. Just because you're handsome doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit. Think I'm handsome? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this task force doesn't officially exist. You want to do this that guy in the background? You can't balk, ever. <laughs> Wait, sorry. You can't. This task force doesn't officially exist. You want to do this job? You can't balk ever. Ah, shit! Listen, I can help. Pew. I'm stellar with weapons in combat. <laughs> you don't have to shoot people after I already killed them. Right. <laughs> Fucking game day, bitches! Aren't you guys being a little nonchalant about all this? Are you insinuating there is a wrong time and a right time to rock? Fuck yeah! You don't understand what we're up against. We need every hand on deck. Is that an eagle? It's eagle. No sidekick. Ah, my asshole! <laughs> the fuck's wrong with your bird? Such a good handsome boy. Dude, we're saving the world. It's everything we've ever wanted. Oh, shit. Fuck, dude! Yeah. Tell me what you know. I'm telling you shit. How do you like that? I like it. I like it a lot. I don't give a fuck. What? Give it all you got. Oh, hey, don't worry. I'm not giving this guy anything. Uh, maybe you could just give him a little. <laughs> okay. Hey, sweet cheeks. Can you take my order real quick? Seriously, dude. She had cherubic cheeks. It's a continent. Sweet cheeks is your butt. No, it's not. It is. It's like calling somebody, I don't know, sugar tits. Totally inappropriate. Tits are way too big to be sugar tits. Sugar tits <laughs> are like smaller, perkier tits. Like He's this guy. Yours. Uh, technically, I think you may have sugar tits too, but somehow that also feels inappropriate. <laughs> Lord, okay. <laughs> um, so one thing... So like... DC tends to go darker, right? Marvel tends to go lighter, more um, safe, you know, for kids. And this is definitely not. This is definitely, you know, like Suicide Squad's to a sort of uh, uh, humor and, I guess, violence, probably. So... I almost feel like the side characters are, are going to be more, more fun and interesting than PC. He's so over the top and ridiculous, but I don't know. And, he, and I don't know if this show is going to make him, it's go, if it's going to redeem him much for me. I mean, his character, 
you know, he was just following orders, right? But he's obviously so extreme <laughs> in his viewpoints that it's going to be interesting to see if they can actually do something decent with his character, sort of give him this nuance and complexity that makes him more interesting and not completely unlikable. I mean, he was he was funny, you know, like I said, in the movie and Suicide Squad. But then when he did what he did, it's just like you then you sort of start to see him as this villain. And well, because he was pretty villainous with what he did. So then they've given him this whole show. And I don't know, like, is he going to be just this crude, crude idiot the whole way through? Or is he going to have any redeeming qualities that gives him some nuance and, and just something a little bit more interesting than just he's this evil idiot? I don't know. I guess we'll I guess we'll see. I guess I'll see whenever I get around to watching it, which I have no idea when that's going to be. Don't know. Don't know how many episodes or whatever. Don't even know if he's going to come back to any of the movies. No clue. But, um, okay, well, I don't have much really more to say about this. The trailer did feel a bit on the longish side. I was starting to feel it. And they did, they did show us a lot. So, um, kind of comparing that in my mind to the Moon Knight trailer that I watched right before I started this. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm, I'm drawing a blank in my brain and it's getting on up there, so I need to call it quits for the night, you guys. Adios. <laughs>